Agriculture is more high-tech than ever as more producers and potential customers go online for information. We sat down with rural development specialist Brian Whitaker for a lesson on social media marketing. The first thing I would say is that you shouldn't be afraid of technological change. It's really about getting your name and your brand have become part of an online presence. So there are several different options to, to accomplish it. Um, some of the ones that are more popular today are Facebook and Twitter, and there are even uh, ways just to basically market your, your product via places like Craigslist and Local Harvest. The beauty of kind of this social networking, social uh, media, is that it gives everyone opportunity to tell their story. And let's face it, Facebook is extremely popular. There's 500 million people on Facebook right now. It's more popular than Google, uh, the, the web page for Google is. It's the most popular website out there. So if ag producers can get their message out there on this kind of a format, it absolutely will raise people's awareness of them, raise, pe raise people's awareness of the issues that, that are affecting them. You can go on and simply market your products. The local harvest is literally just a listing of local farms. So you can go on there, it's completely free to add your information. You can say, here are the crops we grow, here's a little bit of information about us, how long it's been in our family. You can uh, list the seasons that you grow particular crops, and it just gives people a way to contact you. Um, same with Craigslist, it's literally just a, um, you know, a, uh, a classified ad for farmers. The other more popular sites for that are actually more geared towards social networking uh, probably the dominant one right now is Facebook. And what that is is a way for people to go on and create uh, a page that has information about their own person. And then the, alongside that, they create pages associated with their business, in this case, the farms. So a lot of farmers will go in and create a page, you know, listing what, the, what their farm is doing. Um, some of the, they have great pictures about what the, the products they produce on their farm. They can, you can incorporate videos about what you're doing on your farm and you're really just connecting with other people. They may have an interest in what you're farming. It may just be a consumer wanting to know more about farm way of life. Twitter is, is, is becoming more and more popular. And basically what that is, is a way of telling people what you're doing right now. And it's, they have a tagline of 140 characters or less. So it's literally two sentences. And you'll see a lot of farmers actually updating their Twitter accounts from their tractors. You can take a picture, you can post it to a place and send people a link to, here's the view from my tractor today, or here's us you know, uh, feeding the, the uh, cattle this morning. There's a growing uh, market for just general consumers who again want to reconnect with how does, the, how does food get from the farm to my plate? You know, there's people uh, that just go into to, to the grocery store every weekend and pick up their food, but they're wanting, again, there's a big disconnect between what those people are are actually seeing on a daily basis and what goes on on the farm. And so there are, you know, there are a lot of people uh, that are going on and trying to learn more about, about the uh, ag industry.